Hello, hello. Today's Manchester United news and transfer news includes Manchester United could be about to complete seven deals this week in an Ineos madness, a possible transfer hijack, and an update on a on a shock sale. So stay tuned for all of the details. But before we get into it, smash a like on the video and let's get straight into it. Like at the moment, it is absolute madness the amount of noise and stories that are coming out of of United, which is, and they're all exciting in my opinion. And he also definitely, definitely doing doing bits. Um, so let's start with. There's so much going on. So let's start with Dan Ashworth. So you've probably maybe seen by now, but Dan Ashworth, um, the latest report we had was that he potentially would have to see out his gardening leave as Newcastle and United couldn't come to an agreement around the um, compensation package for him. But that's been sorted. Rob Dawson kind of broke the news originally saying that Manchester United are now close to reaching a settlement with Newcastle to appoint Dan Ashworth as their new sporting director. Then the man himself, David Ornstein, come out confirming that the... Um, that it's been sanctioned and it was done. So Manchester United agreed deal with Newcastle to appoint Dan Ashworth as sporting director. Uh, move delayed by Man United and Newcastle struggling to compromise on compensation package, but switch now sanctioned. The 53-year-old is expected to start immediately, which is massive, massive news um, that he can start straight away. Um, and then the Romano kind of confirming David Ornstein's report saying that Manchester United are set to sign all documents for Dan Ashworth to be announced as new sporting director, compensation package agreed with Newcastle, um, all done. Ashworth will start immediately and work closely with Omar Barada and Jason Wilcox. So it looks like the the kind of dream team that Ineos have, have been working towards is slowly starting to, to be in place. Whether Dan Ashworth can have an instant impact it's unlikely because we're going to go for all the transfers that are, are getting very, very close in a second, but it's really good to get him in because he might help with player sales, but then also may be able to see us pluck a few gems out of the woodworks as well. Um, I'm massively excited around Dan Ashworth. It's good to actually finally have a team that are in place. It will take them time to settle in, and I, I don't think we'll see an instant impact but then saying that we are already seeing an impact because we're starting to do deals at a speed and a rate that I've never seen United operate with for for years, probably since before the Glazers came in um, when we had competent people in charge of running running the football club. So massively excited. Um, let me know what you think about Dan Ashworth in the comments. Now I'm going to move on to incoming. So... Um, Let's start with Ngarte. So Ngarte is a player that we're obviously heavily linked with. It's been reported over the last probably coming up, well, less than a week, which is absolutely insane that it's gone from talks with PSG and now it is just starting to escalate. And every day we seem to be getting closer to this deal um, potentially happening, which is which is exciting. Um, so the latest is coming from Pletty Gold or Florian Plettenblug, German. Um, good, he's a good, reliable um, source of information saying that understand that Manuel Ngarte is a serious transfer target for Manchester United. Now talks took place as the 20 and um, as the 23 year old can leave PSG um, inside this summer, Man United want to strengthen the central midfield. There were also rumors about Ngarte and FC Bayern, but currently is not a topic of interest at Bayern. And then uh, more reports coming from Uruguay saying positive talks are ongoing between Manchester United and PSG for Manuel Ngarte. Man United may send their first offer in the next few hours. So this story has gone from zero to 100 really, really quick over the last few days where there wasn't really any reports of us being even remotely interested in Ngarte to now all of a sudden reports suggesting that we're going to be putting in a bid maybe in the next few hours, maybe even at the time you're watching this video, which is absolute insanity um, how quickly that deal has gone through. But it doesn't just stop with Ngarte, um, because we've had more news on Joshua Xerxi. And um, this one's coming out from a reliable Italian source saying that Joshua Xerxi is increasingly heading towards Manchester United. Xerxi's departure from Bologna is now certain, and he is ready to join United. An agreement has been reached between United and the player's agent on the commission, and the striker has been convinced about his role. 
in the technical project, Eric Ten Hag contacted Xerxes directly to overcome his resistance to the move. So if you remember, there were reports back along saying that um, Eric Ten Hag had been in contact directly with Xerxes. And it now looks like, I don't know whether it's based solely on that conversation, but it looks like Ten Hag may have convinced him to come to United because I always saw Milan as the favourites because they'd agreed everything and it felt like um, agent talk around the commission, getting Milan to pay more in commission to to arrange it. But now, according to this report, it looks like United are the front runners. Um, and another report, the bottom one there from Tutto Sport, an Italian outlet, saying that between today and tomorrow is the possible turning point of Joshua Xerxes' future. So again, this is a deal that is accelerating really quickly and could potentially be done be done in the next few days. Obviously, we heard reports before suggesting that United wanted to get deals done before before they go on their tour. I don't know start a pre-season because pre-season starts next week. Um, and obviously some of these players are either at the Euro or the Copa America. But massively exciting that we are starting to not just push for one deal, but two and maybe even three with the next story that we've got coming out regarding Mateus De Litt. And again, this is another story that has accelerated rapidly from kind of tentative rumours around us being linked with Delit, but we've been linked with Delit for years to now all of a sudden looking looking possible. Um, so the latest on Delit is coming from um, the Dutch Telegraph, good source, and then from the Athletics that we're saying the following. So Matthias Delit has received a contract proposal from Manchester United assigned for five years. An agreement between De Litt's entourage and United is expected very soon. Eric Ten Hag and De Litt have already made, already held multiple phone calls. So that's, again, the manager getting involved. Obviously, he's got a prior relationship with De Litt, so that wouldn't necessarily be, um, be unexpected that he'd be able to get in contact with him. But again, Ten Hag getting involved in another deal. Um, and then the report from the Athletics saying that Manchester United are in talks with Bayern Munich over a possible transfer for Matthias De Litt. And the reason I put that in is because the Xerxes story were mainly coming from Fabrizio Romano and um, the um, German reporters, so Christian Folk and Florian Plettenberg. But now the Athletic are kind of getting involved, suggesting that United are pushing towards De Litt, which is absolute insanity that a lot of those deals... Xerxes is one that we've kind of been interested in for a while. So the reports around Xerxes have been there for, for definitely more than a few weeks. But De Litt and Ungarte out of nowhere pretty much. I think it was Thursday last week or Wednesday last week when um, I brought you the news about United being interested in those. And since then, it's literally looking like these are actual genuine players that may be coming at this stage. Obviously, you never say nothing's ever certain in football all right another team could come in and outbid us and there's loads that could potentially still happen but they are the most um likely deals so that's dan ashworth confirmed and talks are ongoing looking likely delit looking likely xerxes looking more likely now as well so there's four deals obviously ten hag there's reports of him signing his new contract this week so that'll be five deals we've got rude van nistroy potentially coming in rennie hack coming in that takes us up to um to seven potential deals that could be done this week which is absolute insanity and i'm here for this all day this is a massive step in the right direction a massive change for united i've never seen this many deals potentially being done within a short space of time normally it would be Oh, we're in talks with Xerxes, and then you negotiate that for two or three weeks, then you sign him, and now we're negotiating with with other players. And it kind of just like what well, this looks like we might get like I said, seven deals done in a week, which is absolute madness. And we're still in negotiations with Branthwaite as well. Let's not forget. Um, absolute madness. Let me know what you think about all of that though in the comments. Um now the next story is coming from um Florian Plettenberg again. And he was saying that Manchester United and many other clubs are trying to hijack Michael Elise's transfer to Bayern Munich. However, his move to Bayern is not currently in jeopardy as Elise remains clear he wants to join them, which again would be absolute insane if we went back in for Michael Elise. Um, we're clearly interested in Elise, just don't think we had the funds available at that time. And the reason I thought that was interesting, one, because it's it's unlikely, I'm just going to say that straight away, he's already agreed everything with Bayern Munich. This is one where... and. Um, so this is one where I don't see us swooping in. He's agreed a 250 grand a week contract and everything. And I can't see 
can't see that happening. But it got me kind of thinking, are we now potentially going back in for Elise because we've got more movement on outgoings? Because it was always believed the reason we didn't get Elise or couldn't push for Elise is because we needed to get rid of Greenwood and um, Sancho first. So is this a case that actually now we've got some movement on those players leaving that we're potentially going back in for Elise? But I don't see it happening. Um, but Florian Plettenberg is a good journalist. So if he's saying it, we have to kind of believe that there is interest there but i can't see that one happening personally and then the um, final story i've got for you is regarding to um, scott mctominay and sophie and amrabat so there's been um a report coming up from give me sports saying that fulham are exploring a move for scott mctominay manchester united are willing to sell him for the right price um let me know what you think about that one in the comments i'll share my thoughts in a second but the other story from the um, Samuel Lucas from the Manchester Evening News. It's basically, it's not really an update. It says Manchester United could keep Sophie and Amrabat, but are yet to make a final decision on the midfielder's future. Just on Amrabat though, he is on the club's official website for the new kit launch. So if you don't know, United's new kit from um, Snapdragon came out today. And Sophie and Amrabat is still on the club's official website, even though technically his loan deal expired yesterday. So is that a hint? I'm not so sure. It could just be an admin mistake or it could be that actually um, maybe they are thinking about um, potentially re-signing Sofia and Amrabat. And interesting in Scott McTominay leaving, let me know in the comments, would you sell McTominay to Fulham? And if you would, what price do you think we could get for him? It's pure FFP homegrown profit. I think he's got to be, what, 35, 40 million pounds based on this season. Um, but the other, deal, the other option with that is the fact that... Um, he has only got one year left on his contract now. But there you go. There's a rundown of all United's headlines. Don't forget to smash this a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.